Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Absolution by Alice McDermott. This is a historical fiction book that takes place in the 1960s. You are following this character named Trisha who at the beginning of the story she is a newlywed, she's very shy. She gets married to this man who is in the Navy and he ends up getting sent to Saigon so she joins him and so the two of them head to Saigon and this is right at the start of the Vietnam War and the Americans kind of heading over to Vietnam and so the story begins with Trisha kind of talking about her experience with being basically like a military wife. She talks about how it was explained to her that like she should be her husband's helpmeet. The other wives who are at this base act and hold themselves and the things that they know and how Trisha is trying to figure out and navigate her life there. And while she's there, she ends up meeting this woman named Charlene who is just like very smart and is working to kind of raise money for various causes and she's like one of those kind of know-it-alls kind of that like everyone else on the base doesn't really enjoy anymore. At the very first party that Trisha is at um, she ends up basically like befriending Charlene's daughter and they start talking about their doll her doll and her Barbie and talking about toys and things like that and Charlene ends up basically like using Trisha to start another kind of fundraising campaign and things kind of just like go from there and so the story is told from the perspective of Trisha and she is basically telling the story to someone else and you find out from the inside flap that it basically is Charlene's daughter the person that she befriends at the party that she is telling this story to. So this is a book that I picked up because I actually went to go see Ann Patchett speak here in Chicago and she you know has her own bookstore called Parnassus Books and so one of the things that she did at the end of her little like speech or conversation that she was having is like she was just like all right now I'm just gonna tell you about all of my favorite books that I've read this year. <laughs> And it was amazing and I wrote down all of them and then I went to the library and I started reading some most of them and I'm just like most of these are not working for me. But this one when I started it I was like okay yeah I can see why this would be really appealing to Ann Patchett because one I think that it's a pretty unique perspective and two it's dealing with certain ideas around like identity and grief and Catholicism and stuff like that. Religion like plays a part in this book. Uh, Trisha and her husband are both Irish Catholics whereas Charlene is Protestant and you see how them growing up in those faith traditions have influenced potentially some of the ways that they view the world, some of the ways that they think, things like that. But a lot of this is about Trisha sort of figuring herself out, figuring her life out. She talks about how she was like just really shy in general growing up, but she had a lot of thoughts and ideas. She often befriended people who were very headstrong. You hear about a friend named Stella that she knew when she was growing up and there's some stories there as well and how Stella was the type of person to like just always speak up in class about injustices and things that were wrong in the world and things like that and like when they got older uh, they like drove down to Alabama to join civil rights protests and things along those lines. And so starting the story off and with the book being called Absolution I assumed that this would be a story of this woman who directly or not who was basically like on the front lines to a certain degree of the Vietnam War and just like knowing what we know now about the Vietnam War and what ends up happening and things like that I thought this was going to be a book dealing a lot more with the guilt or some sort of reckoning with what happens in that war and it happens but only to a very very minor degree to the point where like I just found this in the end to be an unsatisfactory story like it starts off so strong and I love the way that it is written but the way that it concludes I found just so unsatisfactory but also at the same time like it feels very realistic because it feels like they don't fully discuss what happens. There are like things that happen towards the ends of the book that 
honestly is like pretty abhorrent. Um, you see a lot of the characters in this book because it mainly follows like these white Americans. You see them making a lot of comments about the decisions that they are making and how they view them as being morally good, whereas like as an outsider, and especially now you're like, no, that's not necessarily a good thing. And it feels like for me personally, I'm like, yeah, that's not a good thing, but it isn't really fully developed or fully discussed. Like this book feels almost incomplete um, in its thoughts and its ideas. And it's sort of like this book about how like good intentions can go too far or go wrong. But as a person who, you know, has lived through quite a bit, it feels like now, I feel like that's not enough of a reckoning for me. And I found that to be like kind of disappointing, honestly. And there's also like this entire other part of the story about how, like I said, Trisha is telling the story to Charlene's daughter. And there's like a part of this book about Charlene's daughter. And I was just like, I don't that I don't see the point of it. I don't see the point of that being the structure. And again, it just like once it started going more into Charlene's daughter and her life, I again was just like, this this isn't doing what I wanted it to do, which is I wanted it to be a real conversation about the Vietnam War and about the role that various people played during it. And especially like what it could have been like for Americans who were overseas, especially early on, knowing what they know later. And like, again, it felt like that there was a lot of potential for that to happen, but it just didn't go there fully, in my opinion. Like, for example, early on, there's a scene where Trisha and Charlene go to a hospital and Trisha talks about how there are children there who have like various burns and things like that on them. And she talks about how she was like naive about what was happening in that hospital. Like she just thought that like there were just all of these children who had burns. Um, she even talks about how she was like kind of ignorant and thought that maybe it was like some ritualistic thing that the Vietnam's Vietnamese people were doing. And then like it wasn't until like way later that she learned about napalm and saw some of the photographs that came out of Vietnam. And she like made the connection in her head that like, oh, those children who were in the hospital were probably burned because of things that were happening through like the Americans who were there and things along those lines. And I read that chapter and I was like, yeah, like that is like very much what I wanted out of this whole book is I wanted a person who was in Vietnam seeing some of the things that were happening in Vietnam, but not like fully knowing what was happening because like it wasn't completely clear, especially if you're not directly involved in the combat and things like that. Like she's just the wife of someone. And so she, obviously she's not going to necessarily know everything that's happening, but like later on she should potentially realize like what it was that was happening over there. And yeah, that's just like not what the book was. And I just, it just let me down. A lot of this is also about like, the role of a wife in a relationship during this time period. This character talks a lot about how there were just like a lot of things that her and her husband didn't discuss and how there were a lot of decisions that he made on her behalf or how like he said that like, no, you're not going to be doing these certain things. And she just listened and didn't push back. Whereas she had friends like Charlene who basically just did not like whatever they wanted, but to a certain degree, yes. And they like spoke up and spoke out and things along those lines. And I felt like there wasn't enough about like the marriage either to make that a compelling story. Like there's a certain point where like that could have been a compelling story in and of itself. But again, it just like doesn't go far enough and doesn't go deep enough. And I don't know if this is a me problem or what. But I was like just reading this and by the end I just felt like it was only half fleshed out. So part of me is like, what did I miss? But there are like parts of this that are like really beautiful and really poignant. And it's really well written in the sense of like the sentences that are structured, like I can visualize everything that's happening here. And so in that sense, like I understand why someone would really love it, but it just feels like I don't know if this is being like a woman of color or what, but I'm just like, go farther, like truly reckon with what happened in Vietnam. Yeah, I have like conflicted feelings about this book. And so I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and see if anyone else has read this book. This is one of those books where Anne Patrick was like, I really enjoyed this, but I feel like no one's talking about it. And so part of me was just like, I wanted to see 
if anyone else who follows me has read this book and can talk to me about it. My feelings are complicated <laughs> when it comes to this one. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on Absolution by Alice McDermott. Let me know down in the comments below again if you've read this book because I would love to hear other people's opinions about this book. Or if you have any questions, feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.